Hello, greetings. In this tutorial, we will learn how to undertake earn value uh, analysis uh, for project monitoring and control. Let's start with the fundamental. Uh, earn value is an integrated project management system which is based on the, uh, the earn value concept. It uses a time-based budgeted cost line to compare the actual and planned schedule and costs. It is pioneered by the government, so you can guess it comes fully loaded with a lot of terminologies. So we will go through some of these terms before jumping into one of the key examples that would make the concept clear. So first of all, let's review key definitions. Firstly, uh, starting with budgeted cost of completion, which is uh, basically original budget for any job and it does not include profit. Percentage complete, it's the measure of activity, uh, performance of and progress uh, to time so far. Budgeted cost of work schedule refers to the work that should have been done at uh, any given point in time. And moving on, budgeted cost of work performed is a, a budgeted cost of the work that has been done at any given point in time and it's also referred to as earned value. And the formula that we use for uh, calculation is percentage complete multiplied by budgeted cost uh, at completion and the actual cost of work performed uh, is the actual co money that has been spent at any given point in time okay and uh, moving on to some variances uh, schedule variance is the um, measure of time deviation between actual progress and the planned progress and if the result is a negative figure it is a bad news for your project and it means your project is falling uh, behind the uh, planned progress and it's positive then uh, it's a good news for your project and it means that you are ahead of your planned progress and uh, this is the formula uh, schedule variance by budgeted cost of work schedule that we use to calculate schedule variance percentage in contrast the cost variance uh, indicates deviation between the earned value or budgeted cost of work performed and actual cost of doing the work and if it's negative uh, it means uh, your actual cost for completing the project would be higher than the actual allocated budget and if it's a positive figure it it's a good news for your project and it means that your final uh, amount of spending would be lower than budgeted cost of completion and we use uh, this formula CV by BCWP to calculate the cost of variance percentage and the EAC refers to estimated cost at completion so based on your revised prediction that is the new cost your project will take to complete now let's take an example uh, which would make the concepts of earned value uh, uh, of management uh, and how to do key calculations for earned value uh, more clear so constru a construction project with following activities and initial budget so you can see here in this project there are five key activities activity one starts at month one and it finish uh, at month one and the total budgeted uh, cost of this work is one hundred thousand uh, dollars likewise activity two starts at month two finish at month three with a budget of 400 so the total budget we have got for this job is 2500 thousand dollars so as our first step we uh, firstly calculate the budgeted cost of work schedule which is the budgeted cost of the work that should have been done uh, at any given point in time as per the initial planning right so here you can see uh, of the five activities let's focus on activity one and activity one according to original plan should have started at month one it should have finished by end of month one and with a total budget spending of 100 thousand dollars so uh, we will load month one with a 100,000 which should have been spent uh, according to the original budget uh, in month one now let's move to uh, activity two here according to the initial uh, cost plan um, it's a two months activity starting uh, after uh, starting at month two finishing at month three with a total budget allocation of 400 so if it's equally spent over two months that would mean 200 uh, pounds uh, or 200 thousand dollars per month activity three uh, is, a, is, a, is a has a duration of three months starting uh, at month two and finishing at month four with a total budget allocation of 1200 so we will uh, 
budget for a uh, cost saver with a 400,000 uh, uh, spending per month according to the uh, initial budget allocation. Now if we move to activity uh, 4, it has uh, a lifespan of 2 months with a total budget allocation of 600. Uh, so you can see it has been loaded on the table. And the last activity, activity 5, has got a duration of only 1 month with a total spending of $200,000. Right, so we have uh, completed our budgeted cost of work schedule table based on the initial cost plan. And in the last row, we will do uh, the cumulative values. So we will actually add uh, all the values uh, in, in, in the respective column. So you can see, according to the budgeted cost of work schedule, the total spending for month one was 100,000. For month two, it was 600. And likewise, uh, you know, it goes on. Right, so the scenario here is that we are reporting the progress of project at end of month four. So uh, uh, our reporting line is uh, m month four. So I'm just repeating the column that you saw in the previous slide, but that's our reporting line. We have to report how we are progressing at this point of time. So we will uh, see what's the budgeted cost of work scheduled by uh, end of the reporting timeline. So here you can see uh, by end of month uh, 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 four, uh, 100,000 should have been uh, spent on activity one, 400 should have been spent on activity uh, two, 1,200 should have been spent on activity three, whereas activity five, no money should have been spent because this activity actually doesn't start uh, by end of month four, it, it actually starts at month six. Okay, so this way we have calculated the budgeted cost of work scheduled by uh, end of month 4, which is our uh, reporting period 5 person. So uh, this is the actual uh, reported data uh, from the site. And now we will use this data to complete our earned value uh, analysis, right? So this is the table uh, that we will be using to complete our uh, earned value analysis and to estimate the final cost of completion based on the progress of the project by end of month four. So uh, the first column here is a budgeted cost uh, uh, of wor work. Or, um, so we can see that for activity one from the uh, first table that we previously discussed, according to the original budget, uh, this amount of money has been allocated. So for activity one, 100,000 have been allocated. For activity two, this was the original cost plan, right? So the total uh, spending on this project was $2,500,000 uh, according to the original uh, cost plan. If you recall, we calculated budgeted cost of work schedule. So after month four, according to the original budget, uh, this much money should have been spent. So uh, according to the original cost plan, this was the uh, budgeted cost of the work that has been scheduled. Later, the our field staff reported percentage complete data for the various activities and we can see here uh, this was the data which was reported to us uh, from the field staff they reported that uh, one activity one has been completed 100 percent and likewise activity two whereas activity three was reported to be under progress with a 75 percent completion and likewise activity four was under progress whereas work on activity five has yet not started also, the field staff reported, uh, <coughs> so so uh, the next one is uh, to calculate the budgeted cost of work performed, which we will compute by taking a percentage of uh, budgeted cost of work allocation. So here we can see 100% of uh, the allocated 100,000 work has been completed. So actually, the value of the work performed for activity one is uh, 100 thousand likewise 100 percent of uh, the total uh, allocated uh, funds of 400,000 uh, has been completed so this means the uh, uh, budgeted cost of work performed or earned value is 400,000 for activity 3 only 75 percent of 1200 uh, thousand has been completed which means that the earned value or budgeted cost of work performed is only 900,000. Uh, uh,
for activity 4 only 25 percent of uh, 600 has been accomplished which means uh, uh, earn value of 150 uh, thousand uh, for activity 5 0 percent of 200 has been accomplished and the earn value of 0 now if you recall the uh, site staff reported the actual money that has been spent on undertaking various activities so we can load uh, this actual cost of work performed table based on the data that was reported to us from site so we just copy that now we will use these figures to calculate the schedule variance and cost variance so let's start with the schedule uh, variance right so uh, schedule variance is computed using a formula budget cost of work performed or earned value minus budget cost of um, a work schedule which is also referred to as a planned value okay so you, you can see the schedule variance is zero for activity one and two so this means that we are as far as time is concerned we are on on target uh, the schedule variance is reported as minus 300 a negative figure usually means we are running behind schedule uh, and likewise we are running behind schedule uh, by this much amount of work on activity 4 as well now usually most of the software tools like Microsoft project reports this as a percentage and to do this the formula we use is schedule variance by divided by budgeted cost of work schedule and <coughs> we can see here the schedule variance is minus 25 percent and minus 50 percent which means basically we are 25 percent behind schedule on activity 3 and four, uh, no 50 percent behind schedule and so uh, as a project manager you have to take note that these activities are performing quite badly in terms of time uh, later we will calculate the cost variance uh, and the formula we will use is budgeted cost of work performed minus actual cost of work performed and uh, using this formula you can see so here for instance uh, in activity uh, 2 the budgeted cost of work performed was 400 whereas actual cost of work performed was 500 so it results in minus 100 and then we uh, uh, represent it as a percentage so you can see here that activity 2 for instance it's doing well as far as time is concerned it was completed in the allocated time but it was uh, it performed quite badly in terms of cost right so it achieved the uh, time target but it wa uh, failed to achieve the required cost target it was 25 percent over budget likewise you can see the way things are activity 3 will be 22 uh, percent over budget and activity 4 is 33 percent uh, over budget and we use uh, these figures to calculate the estimated cost at completion so based on the progress of work so far uh, what would be the new cost for completing this project so you can recall the original budgeted cost was 2500 pounds and let's see how much uh, will it cost based on the progress of the project so far so the formula that we use to calculate uh, estimated cost at completion is actual cost of work performed divided by percentage complete and uh, you can see for instance uh, uh, in activity 2 the actual cost of work performed was 500 and 100% uh, has been completed so that means the estimated cost at completion remains to be 1500 um, in the uh, for activity 3 you can see the planned spending on activity 3 was 1200 but based on the progress of the work so far the new spending would be 1457 so this activity would be 267000 pounds over budget likewise for activity 4 the initial cost plan was to spend 600 but the final uh, amount that is estimated is 800 so this activity is going to be 200 over budget so this is a, your new cost uh, for completing this project so as a project manager it's very important you update your uh, all stakeholders of the uh, impending uh, cost and, and time delays